Hello and welcome back to session number 55 of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Hi! Hello. 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 Hello! There shall be no shenanigans today. No dice towers shall be toppled. Um, no fruits shall be mislabeled and misnamed. Uh, and I've been promised a bathtub, I, th I think? <laughs> I, d I didn't quite catch uh, that part. But yes, we're, we're ready to get back into it. Uh, today's recap is courtesy of Dennis. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a little spin with my camera. Da -da 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 -da, zooming in on you. How do I look? Uh, your hair is impeccable. Thanks. It's well-groomed overall. Good job. Nice. All right, all right. <clears throat> After seeing that I'm still owning three inspiration dice myself and knowing uh, yeah. what the heck that is going I on here? can't really get more, I thought that today with this recap, I would give it away, my inspiration. And I would give it away to the highest point earner of my little <laughs> quiz I've made <laughs> for the session recap. I've made this quiz before hearing that two people didn't remember what happened last session <laughs> and one person not being there. So, I'm Sid, this is all on you. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will basically retell what happened last session and then at certain points ask very easy questions and give you like three choices of answers. And then you all can <laughs> chime in basically and get points. There will be a maximum of four questions. But if none of you know it, Windsor can answer the question. And if she has more points than all four of you together, she will get the inspiration dice. For oh. my monsters? Yeah, Ooh. sure. But don't use them against me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do we have a buzzer? Um, you want to say ping pong? You have to type, <laughs> you have to type X in the chat. All right. Okay. But only after I gave the final The final answer. word. Wait, yeah, if I yeah. had my own buzzer. Yeah, yeah. Everybody All load right. your X's. <laughs> load your X's. All right. Isn't this going to have X's. a new like soundboard feature? We can probably add a buzzer there. Oh god. <laughs> Terrible idea. Let's not. Let's not. No, it's great. We can we can like this <laughs> All right. Okay, we can um, use the Discord quacking. Question one. The session starts with Tekka being with the Krell Coast. Kovic and Tarsho are with him and talk him and talk to him, asking him to make what stop? <clears throat> A. World hunger. B. The rain. Or C. Tom Brady from retiring for a second time. All right. <laughs> Take it. All right, Jory. What's the right answer? I'm I'm pretty sure. I mean, it might have been Tom Brady too, but I'm pretty sure it was the rain. <laughs> Correct, correct, oh, one sorry, I point connect. Two, Are we doing the X sorry. or the quack? <laughs> oh, the X, the X. Okay. <laughs> All right, do you have your X's prepared? Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. oh, here's oh, a tally. Oh, anyways, a all right, all right. Point for Jory. I didn't make the transition good, but oh well. But Tekka doesn't have the powers to make the rain stops. And he is being held with Potrakash in Leshkri's old house, I think. And after a while, so later into the session, Kovic and Tarsha tell him that they have a plan for him. The Krelkos have to leave this place, Narashk, and want to bring him to their gods and let them decide what to do with Tekka. Later on, they also talk a little bit more and Tekka strikes a deal that he can roam freely if he helps provide and rebuild with the Krelkos. Back at the group situation, Pontifex Pontifex and Squink are diving into the waters of the cave. They find signs of people having packed their things and left Narashk. They also find Cloudfallen swimming around. Question 2. Upon confrontation, Squink uses Bestow Curse to make Cloudfallen think what? A. They are friends. B. Pip has dropped all his rocks into the water and we need to find them. Or C. He is alive. Damn. Wait. Uh-huh. Uh, I think it was, I said, at least on my, 
Were there new exes by Jory and Austin? I don't think so. Matt. No, yeah, so Matt Matt's first. Okay, yeah, Matt, what is the answer? Uh, very... Obviously, the only thing that Pip would ever do ever would have something to do with rocks. So I'm going to go with B, the rocks, for sure. 100%. Okay. Uh-huh. That, that he dropped wrong. the rocks in the water and he needs the death dragon to find his pebbles. Yes, that is sadly wrong. It would have made for an amazing story, though. That would have been a better thing. You're right. So, Sid, what is your answer? Mm, that was the option I was going to go with. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Winter, what's the right answer? <laughs> ooh, ooh, is it my go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pip made Cloudfall and believe that it was alive. So true. One point for Winter. Oh um, no, guys! This point. seems out of character. <laughs> <laughs> well, his original approach was to give Cloud Fallen back uh, its lungs, but Pip doesn't have access to that spell yet. Yet, yeah. Give back lungs. Just wait and until what I. What a gruesome way to greater restore people. <laughs> Just wait until I'm a 12th level cleric. Here's your lungs so you can fucking drown. <laughs> All, right, <let's... laughs> All right, let's get towards question three. Squink finds where the Krelko left Narashk, and the group decides to go around on the outside to where Squink is. During a scouting tour, Varian spots Cloudfall and outside. But when the whole group makes an intricate plan to get past the dragon and finally gets there, Cloudfall is gone. We find a trail where a big group has wandered through, which leads into the direction of the Stelling Dread. The group follows the trail and sees Cloudfallen's footsteps reunite with their trail. Question 3. When Cloudfallen notices the group, what does the group do to get past him? <clears throat> a. Hide really well and sneak past him when the time is right. B. Decide to sacrifice all of Orm's machinery to distract Cloudfallen. Or C, let Pontifex beat him in a match of dragon chess. <laughs> all right, Austin. It's a trick question, none of the above, because we didn't send all of the machines in. Actually, true. That's my bad. You get to ask. You get to answer again. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you Pick one of the other, other options. <laughs> oh, the dragon chess. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, that was actually the right answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going... all machines, but it were some machines. I'm going to count <clears throat> it uh, as a victory point for Austin. Sure, Austin won. Jory which won. Machines, uh, which machines uh, survived? Oh, God. A lot oh, of them. A raven. A and raven maybe... for sure. I think maybe a crab. And I, I'm pretty sure we only sent in one snake. Right? No, I, I think it was just the it raven. Was just it was just the raven. raven. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I knew. Point for you guys. Okay, right, hey, you have three points now. <laughs> <laughs> when reaching Stilling Dread, the group finds Tekka helping the Krelkos rebuild their camp and in their daily course. The Krelko have used Stilling Dread's remains and the tomb, be tomb below to create their makeshift tomb. Upon confronting Tekka, Tekka explains the group Kaobik's plan with him which the group agrees to. Question four. What does Kaovic give the group to talk to their gods? <clears throat> a. A holy necklace. B. Tickets to an official airship to the land above. Or C. Pontifex stolen one to make up for what the dragons did to him. That was very early, Jory. <laughs> I, knew, I, I was going to do it before you finished all the answers, but I was being quiet. <laughs> all right, Jory, what is it? Um, actually, it was his necklace. Oh, that's so true. That's two points for you. I'm sorry, Winston, that means you can't get some I inspiration, had to hope. guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? It's okay. It's okay. Well, there are no more questions? No, well, like, there are no more questions, round? but there is like an, an, an epilogue which oh. says the group takes the necklace, says a prayer, and gets beamed up to speak to their gods. <laughs> Yeah. Gets beamed up. <laughs> yeah. I just assume that's what happened. Beam me up, Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that that more or less covers all. Somehow, 
I hope you all are very informed on what happened last session. <laughs> all right, Matt, how, how, how clear of an idea do you have of what happened? Uh, the professor's not dead, mm -hmm. and I still don't have my wand, so he <laughs> might as well be. <laughs> That's what I've gathered. <laughs> so this whole thing was a failure. Well, we still have a chance to get your I didn't back. know the goal was to get the wand back, but it is now. You go, Jordan. <laughs> and also Tekka, hey. I guess. Your quiz inspiration. Thanks, everyone, for participating. That was great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Those are very believable uh, alternative answers. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is why multiple choice is an ineffective teaching tool in our public school programs. <laughs> Vote me! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, the, Matt, do you have any more questions? This is your chance. What do you mean? For Matt. No, I think I think it's more important that I think I'm gonna role play that Pontifex is just in a daze uh, because he didn't get to to best the dragon and dragon chess. Uh, <laughs> he didn't get his wand back as an apology. Uh, I think he's just in a stupor thinking about what the better timeline was. <laughs> so this is great. I'll, I'll catch up on things. Uh, I guess what. Uh, aside from everything that happened to me, because no one else matters, what what was happening with Taka? Uh, he he's with the village. They're not underwater. No, they're not underwater anymore. They basically escaped and went to the Stealing Dread, and now they're having the camps there. And Taka is helping. Oh, them they're at the giant rebuild. corpse yeah. of the Stealing yeah, Dread. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, let me. That we let, don't let... know in character, or do we know that? Yeah, uh, you yeah, went yeah, there. Yeah, we let that. me let me show oh, you. Oh, we're here. Because uh, okay. uh, yeah, still in dread has changed uh, a little bit. So let me let me bring in a map, uh, just like ground us uh, into the present. Uh, they've been like uh, covering up the ribs to make sort of like a makeshift ceiling. Uh, they've been uh, they've been putting down their their tents all around it. This is where they have escaped to, and that's where you found ultimately Taka. Uh, that's where you talk to Kalvik, uh, who's like, oh, um, here, let's let's go do this thing, and uh, you've agreed, and you've gone down into the the area where you guys had originally found all those large uh, hearts that attacked you uh, beneath, still in dread. Uh, you went there and you stepped on the little circle platform that was at the bottom uh, of that area. Uh, and uh, Alvik started uh, uh, chanting something. And uh, the last thing that you guys are aware of uh, is just this... Uh, you saw the ceiling opening up uh, above you. Uh, you saw the moons through the roof of the building. Uh, there was just this conduit uh, directly between you and the sky. And you felt yourselves pulled upward. Um, for a few seconds, you just feel like you're getting tossed around and you're not quite sure which way is up anymore. And you feel warm and then you feel cold and you feel like you're bathed in light and then you're tossed in darkness. And there comes a moment where everything seems... Stable, stable enough, and your body isn't getting tossed around, and each of you at your own pace, eventually, uh, you open your eyes and uh, you look upward. And uh, what you see above you is uh, clouds, and beyond the clouds, you see the sea. Miles away from you, somehow upside down until the realization hits you that you're the ones who are upside down. You are currently pinned by gravitational forces to a small moon. Its surface is rugged and rocky. There is a slight vegetation scattered here and there, sparse, low grass 
that sways in a gentle breeze. Um, a handful of trees towering over you, their leaves just rustling in the wind. Um, look around further, you spot far away in the sky, but closer and bigger than you've ever seen them, the moons of Lidaria, Iriel and Kyrio. Far, far larger than the tiny rock that you're currently stuck on. What? What is this place? Uh, I, I think Tekka will just like kind of try to grab his own legs. It's just like not understanding the gravity. <laughs> it feels like you, you could fall into the sea at, at any moment. Uh, but somehow you're not. Teachers, there's some kind of magic. What is doing this? Speechless. <laughs> Matt? Uh. Hmm? Uh, Tech, I was talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. I was so lost. I didn't think that we were with Tekka. Uh, I, all of us are together. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll say also speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Sorry, I'll get acclimated. Whoa. <laughs> uh, what is Squeak's situation? Is he in a cage, or is he still like on Pip's shoulder? Um, Squeak was invisible on Pip's shoulder when this was taking place, right? That's correct. Okay. Um, the, so you, Pip turns his head to look at, at his shoulder and, like, he doesn't feel the weight of, of Squeak. Uh, and he, like, just runs his hand over the scarf and it's not there and he looks down and he sure is in a little cage. Uh, again. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Pip uh, reaches down towards the cage and uh, just, like, takes in this crazy situation and tries to see if he can, like, walk around a little bit. Yeah. Um, as you walk around, this place is so small that, like, in no time you are... Um, you, you're you're beginning to no longer see your friends just from the current curvature of the moon, but despite you guys standing at different angles, you can you're not falling off at any moment. Like at no moment does it feel like you're going uphill or downhill, or like you are sideways or uh, upside down, or even the right way up. Why are um, the clouds there? Pip walking know. around, you're the first. Uh, you're the first person to um, hear a rustling, a, a rustling noise from um, this patch of bushes over here. Um, guys, hmm. I don't think we're alone up here. Who's there? Reveal yourself. Uh, the. The noise ceases, and whatever is in there is keeping quiet and still. Should we take a look? Ip's gonna take out his his looking glass thing and just take a look through it, see if anything changes in the surroundings. Mm, in this area, no, nothing changes. Uh, how far away is this rustling? From your group? Can we give um, a guesstimate? Yeah. Yeah, you, you're maybe about 50 feet off. Pip is closer. Uh, 
uh, yeah, if no one else is doing anything about it, the professor's going to cast a mage hand and his weird little six fingered thing is going to show up and he's going to get within 30 feet and just like kind of move the brush aside a little bit with the hand to see if he can peek into it. Yeah, gently pat the leaves down and separate mm -hmm. the the uh, the various twigs uh, until you see something small and shimmering. Um, a head poking out from behind the leaves that you move and a pontifex you make eye contact with a small dragon. Mm. And I do mean small, like the size of a house cat. Um, about, about the size of your tressim, uh, wings at all. Uh, its scales made entirely of crystal, and its head thus is uh, glimmering in the sunlight with this array of rainbow colors. Um, its eyes are big, curious, cautious, it seems to be staring at you uh, intently, trying to decide whether you pose a threat. Uh, Pontifex is gonna like hold his hand out to the others as like a like a stay back, don't move type of thing, uh, and he's gonna say uh, out loud, very softly uh, in Draconic, just to see. It's a long shot, but maybe. Hello, hello, little guy. Small dragon tilts its head. You Suddenly, it scampers language. out from behind the bushes oh. and just runs at you and begins to playfully dance around your feet. Yeah, if, if it was running at him, I don't think Pontifex was, like, defensive. I think he was, like, dropping to his knees with the hands out like a puppy running towards you. <laughs> Jumps straight into your arms. So. Uh, yeah, he hugs and cuddles it and shows it the affection that he never showed the Tressum. <laughs> 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 oh, look at you. Oh, yeah, he'll get up and walk over to the group. Uh, Pontifex is holding a cat-sized dragon. Aww. Just pressed against his chest. Um, it, it is currently licking his face. And Pontifex, the tongue of this dragon burns. It, it's, it scrapes like a cat's tongue, but also it just feels really hot. It's okay, I'm perpetually moist. <laughs> Your skin sizzles. <laughs> yes. oh. I, I don't know what is going on, but I don't hate it. Uh, this has snapped but... me out of my stupor. So this is their god. <laughs> what? That's a good point. Does this baby dragon scales resemble in any way my prism? Um, no. Uh, right. This one has... We can be friends. The <laughs> <laughs> like, the... Um, under the light, they glisten with all, with all colors. But, like, in general, it has a kind of this... Um, like, pinkish, peach, peach-colored uh, hue to its scales. I don't fully understand where we are or why we are here, but I understand even less why this is here and why it is in my arms at the moment. It is peculiar. I mean, wherever here is, um, I'll, I'm gonna go take a look around and see if I can find anything else, maybe, if anyone else wants to come along. Yeah, I assume we were here to talk to some gods. I mean, that's what it sounded like, but if this is a god, it's an awfully small one. And that would make everything way easier, huh? He already likes Pontifex. The small dragon is wagging its tail. It keeps it must whacking be against uh, um, Pontifex's <laughs> belly. <laughs> slam, 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 slam. Just like uh, pinging away off of his armor. Yes. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. It is like um, a dinner bell. 
Oh. Now he's trying to uh, climb out of your grasp. And uh, please don't. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> he's trying to squirm I'm gonna try to out of your him arms. With rash. <laughs> I'm going to try to maintain its affection by giving it food. Okay, make an animal <laughs> handling check. <laughs> oh no. Don't leave. Not like everything else. <laughs> you know, I. That's funny. Like, going into this, I thought Shit. a Pontifex would have been unhappy to see a dragon here, but this is. I was completely wrong. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. The the small dragon stops to sniff at the food, and then seems uninterested. Mm. Tries again to break free. Uh, now we're gonna do a contested like grapple. No, he'll he'll let it go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's he's um, not gonna like fight an infant. <laughs> fight an I'm infant. not very strong, but I mean I'll crush you. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. The small small dragon goes up to like sniff most of your feet. Uh, eventually stops in front of uh, Squeak's cage and uh, taps it, so it rolls on its side, and starts rolling hey. it around. No! Hey! What? <laughs> oh, I like it. This is a mischievous little scamp. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a word, but I made it funnier. <laughs> 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 Let me out. <laughs> Biren, you're, you're, you 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 walk away from this scene. Uh, take another look around in the area. Um, this this moon is small enough that uh, in a, in in just a few minutes you have just covered. You've you've gone a full round around it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, like on, on almost the opposite side from where you guys showed up, you see this one door. Um, it's really just a door that, depending on your orientation, it's basically on the ground. Uh, but there is this bit of floor that is sticking out of it, that if you stand on it, regardless of the orientation of the whole thing, it feels more like you're walking into a proper horizontal opening. Uh, it is currently closed, though. Okay. So she'll, after kind of scouting around, go back to the group... Just shaking your head and well this is by far the weirdest thing I've ever encountered. Um We did it. We did it. Uh, it's also the cutest thing I've ever encountered. I mean, I mean that I wasn't talking about that. Uh just this uh, situation as a well there, there's a door into it it goes in to here. In like into in. the floor, like a cave. Yes, or except like a it's hole. a door. It's like, but no, it's a door, but it goes in. It's not down. It's, it, it is down, but it's not down. So it's like a hatch. N no, it's a door. The, you know, that we could sit here and, and try to put other <laughs> words on this door until we decipher what it is, or you could just show us. It's, it's right. It's literally right over there. This place is very small. I look right Please, at Please, God help me! <laughs> no, fine. Let the kids play. <laughs> <laughs> look at all of this space for activities. Is the, is the great, trust him out with you? Uh, oh, part of me wants to say no, you don't get to have fun, but the other part of me says it could be really cute. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I think actually hearing Squeak being in, like, absolute... Uh, like disrespected agony uh, <laughs> i'm then going to summon the the celestial cat that can see invisibility and is immune to poison the <laughs> the, the bane of his existence and say yeah you go play with the cage too uh, maybe you two could play like volleyball with it or something <laughs> yeah he'll he'll snap the tress okay. into into existence yeah, you snap your go fingers play. the tress him appears apparently mid grooming um uh, pauses looks around and hears the rattling noise just like one of those cat toys with a little with a little like <laughs> ball inside and ears perk up and she flies off <laughs> and now there are two small winged beings that are 
passing the squeak ball to each other. Get away from me! The things I'll do to you when I get out of here! You wouldn't believe me! I'm gonna crack your shit! Oh, I'm so cute. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> it is learning our ways so quickly. Meanwhile, Pip is just picking up rocks. <laughs> Moon rocks. All right, let's go to the door. <clears throat> okay. Um, eventually, you gather up, Pip. You have a handfuls of rocks that, for, for being, for being moon rocks, they're kind of plain. They're just gray rocks, but they have a bit of like this, this light luster. Like perhaps there's some metal to them. Um, so they shine a little bit as long as you hold them up in in sunlight. Uh, not much um, color to them, though. Pip holds it up, looks at it. His his emerald green eyes shimmer with a sort of delight. Um, and he puts a couple in his pouch and then realizes something suddenly and uh, scampers off to where uh, wherever Squeak is now. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Squeak ball is rolling. Pip's going to try and intercept and retrieve the cage. Well, an animal handling check. Okay. Squeak is being passed between two very playful creatures. <laughs> Pip is running in the middle trying to catch him. Eight. <laughs> it takes oh, a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems that like the the dragon quickly decides that this is uh, um, like it, it, it's it's life objective to keep Squeak away from you, um, and uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just picks up the cage from the top part with its mouth and starts flying around. Plays dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just banging around in the cage. <laughs> when a dragon notices that there is no more movement from the, from the cage, it seems to get bored and puts it back down, wanders off. Telepathically squeaks says, "Mousy chains, come get me, please." <laughs> Pip will go over to to the cage and pick him up, still playing dead, and then we'll join the others. Uh, while, Pip while returns to the party the... <laughs> with a seemingly dead squeak in the cage. <laughs> while Arms dangling the through others, the bars. He just says, Squeak, I found a space rock. That's part of the list, right? And uh, there's no reply. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, everybody's gathering in front of the, of the door then? Yep. <clears throat> uh, the dragon shows up too. The Tressim is, is last. Um, she seems a little disinterested with whatever uh, meeting is suddenly taking place here. Um, but the little dragon uh, walks up to the door and uh, pushes gently with its snout. And without like applying any real pressure, the door's swing open and then the dragon runs in uh when the dragon is like scampering beneath us and it starts to go through can i try to reach down in time and slap the light cantrip on him <laughs> so he's just like this little beacon <laughs> i don't think you can put light on creatures it has to be objects uh oh true but that's, this is a funny idea. Hmm. Is there anything I can try to hook on him? I don't think. Oh no, One this is super tails. cute. Can I try to? Can I try to cast light on my holy amulet and like try to like toss the amulet onto it, like hook it onto the dragon? <laughs> Just lasso. Just wearing my little necklace. Yeah. Um, make it a slide event check. Yeah. I'm amazing. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna look. Your your aim is a little off, and it lands on its tail, but it does catch on the on the spikes that it has on its back. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, there's an amulet of the goat glowing blue. <laughs> Far away, ba. <laughs> Just tinking around on the ground. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. <clears throat> uh, there is a dark side. Uh, the 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 sun is out. Um. So one side would be in the shade. The door is currently in the lit side. What's in there? Is this one of Jamil's doors? This is one way to find out. It looks like that uh, little little guy might have been waiting for us. It seemed to know or wanted to let us in. Just to keep it waiting. Uh, this door, ancient, weathered, with intricate designs etched on its surface. It doesn't match any of the doors uh, in uh, Jamil's tower. Um, when it opened, there was a, a slight cold gust of wind that hit you. Um, now, uh, through this stone tunnel that you can see inside that spirals down into the moon's core, uh, you just hear the faraway um, metal clinging of uh, uh, a Pontifex's amulet just hitting the ground, and scraping along the floor. How do you get down there? Do you just slide down? Jump down? Walk down? It's so... It's a straight, um, like, it, it, it's not sloped right away, but it slopes downward further in, and it doesn't seem to have stairs, and then it just curves around a corner. Alright, let's go. <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um... Despite this tunnel um, curving right and left, heading downward and then back up, you can see ahead of you uh, the twists and turns of this path, but at no point do you ever actually feel like you're going up or like you're going down. Uh, at some moment, you're, you're trying to keep track of your general direction and you think you've started going on an incline that was sideways and... Um, you should be currently at a 90 degree angle compared to the door you, you entered, but it feels like directions are kind of meaningless in here. Uh, and trying to make sense of it is pointless. You venture deeper, following the faraway light uh, and the sound ahead of you until the tunnel widens into a large stone chamber. Uh, the walls are rough and uneven, with the occasional crack or crevice, and the floor stretches out before you for about, uh, um, about 30 feet. Um, and then it abruptly drops away into a vast void. Um... Looking down, you see an endless expanse of stars and galaxies stretching out below you. The dizzying height of the drop takes your breath away. This gap feels bottomless in, in a way that uh, it gives a whole new meaning to the word. And the lack of any visible floor or structure directly beneath sends shivers down your spine. You glance around the chamber and it's pretty barren. There's a little dragon that has stopped here and is sitting down to look at you. And the only object of note is a statue of a different dragon. It, it stands near the edge of the gap, its wings spread wide. Uh, and there's an identical copy of the same statue on uh, one of the walls.
You arrive from here. And... You can place your tokens here. Uh, grid, we're gonna need it. Oop. This is the void. Um, on the other side, uh, you can see that the floor eventually resumes. Uh, and there's two more statues that mirror the ones that are over here. The blue ones. Huh. And this one is also a statue? This is uh, the little dragon you've met. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. First things first. Like, not even hesitating, Virian, she's going to go up to this closest statue that's on the ground and not on the wall. Okay. And just see if there's any identifying marks, plaques, anything on it. Okay. Um, let's make that an investigation check. Sure. Rook, you approach the edge and you look down and oof. Can I throw something down after? Yeah. I don't know if there are any more rocks or so. Yeah, the the the, the floor is old and uneven, and some of the like the stone tiles are coming off, and you can just see like this rocky um, terrain uh, underneath. It's, it's easy to pick something up and toss it down, and just watch it go until it's too small to see it. Huh. Uh, Virion, this statue is of a dragon much like the one you have just met. It has the same kind of arrangement of the, the horns and the same shape of wings. Uh, it looks bigger. Uh, it looks um, pretty real, like um, pretty well made. Um, like you can you can you, you could count its scales. It's very detailed. Um, and there is one spot that stands out um, pretty easily on one of its outstretched uh, uh, paws. There is uh, something that feels like it's made of a slightly different stone material from the rest of the statue that looks like a button. Press it. Just press the button? Yeah, literally without. Just, she just sees it and just presses it. Right. Oh god, if another row disappears, I'm dead. Don't freak out. I'm gonna move all of your tokens. Rotate. Everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> um, the statue of the dragon uh, breathes out this smoke, this light. You're actually not really sure what it is. It feels like it's a material you've never really encountered. Uh, almost like light made physical. Uh, it, rather than hitting you, it sort of goes around you, and it settles down at your feet. It's like somebody's uh, unrolling a carpet, and the light goes uh, um, from this statue that you're in front of, Virion, down on the ground, and then up the wall, and connects to the other statue. And then everything begins to shift. Oop. Uh, let me bring it back up. There we go. <laughs> ah. Two. Seventy. Here we go. And we made it. We made it. Oop. We're now on this wall. Um, <coughs> Gently carried... Video. That makes things easier. 
gently carried by this light that connects the statues. Um, it feels like the entire room is shifting, but you're shifting with it. Um, and before you know it, uh, what was below your feet before is now on your left. I found something. I had noticed. <laughs> Maybe, uh, this, I don't know, say something before we do things. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do that. Well, what did you expect it to do? Not that. <clears throat> I, I, I suppose it wasn't bad. It was kind of cool, but all the same. And no risk, no reward. This isn't helping me feel less sick. <laughs> <laughs> What, what you want to do is find a point on the horizon to look at, as uh, far away as you can. Oh, sure, I'll just stare into the void that stretches forever. I mean, it might help the motion sickness. Staring into the void, the longer you look, the more things you see. So many faraway stars, and you can see the... Um, the void has different colors, they're faint hues, it's mostly black, but then you spot like a little bit of red and a little bit of blue and you realize that you're seeing far, far away planes of existence. So if I throw a rock out now, does it still go down? It goes down relative to you. Huh. So it's no longer the same direction it was falling uh, in before. Yep. Staring out into the void, do any of these like star patterns look familiar for what like, Virian would know from Plurna? <laughs> um, Virian, is this very different? This is not the sky that you would see from Plurna. Mm -hmm. Just n not in the slightest. Ow. What would you like to do? Well, slowly walk forward. To the other side. The little dragon takes flight. Goes ahead of you. And circles around and uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oop! It is a ride on uh, Virian's head. Hello there. There's a little squeak that comes out of its throat. Yeah. It's a very strange noise, very high pitched, but also kind of gravelly at the same time, but not in a way that feels hostile. I think she'll try to redirect it like down to her shoulder. Here, it might be a little more comfortable down there for both of us. Um, its claws cling to your hair for a bit, but eventually you reposition it. You are very cute. Um, it's munching on your hair now. That's less cute. Do you, do you understand us, or am I just talking to talk? It's still munching. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it waits for Tekka to come up. <clears throat> Tekka is seated on the wall, crouched around his backpack. Ensuring that Ollie is safe during all of this. And he whispers, probably so that no one can hear it. The light is not so illuminating. It's why we prefer the night, isn't it, Ollie? Before he again closes the backpack, puts it on his back, and uh, when, starts... he was, when he was speaking to him, Ollie was looking back up at you. Um, this is usually a time when he, when he would be sleeping, but he, he was very intently listening. You could just feel like his attention fully on you. 
yeah, with that, I think Tekka will just like reach forward to Ollie with one little finger and just like nuzzle him below his head. He oh, squints. Just enjoying the gesture. Uh, these last few days, he seemed uh, a bit more active um, and constantly just with you. Like, whenever you tried to put him down somewhere to go do some kind of job, he would just climb out of the backpack and come after you. You feel like he missed <laughs> you. Mm. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Going back a bit, I think the moment that Tekka got Ollie back, he's been like constantly worried about like, what have you been feeding him? Uh, is he okay? Uh, but yeah, it seems like the couple that was taking care of him did a good job. And I think while that has been worrying Tekka a lot, because like he's been the one person to take care of Ollie, it's just like, it's a bit freeing in a way. Knowing that Ollie can be okay without him. Uh, and so then Tekka will let Ollie come out and walk around as we walk on this strange rock wall. <laughs> <laughs> did Pip want to interact with Tekka or was he just did he just, just want like, to be behind him? Just near him. It's like a second Ollie. Yeah. Following along. Um <laughs> are you holding the cage? Yep. Uh, yeah. Squeak is it's very unusual for um devils to be seasick, but that's what it feels like. <laughs> I think Tekka will look back to Pip and just cr briefly mention this could well be the power of a dream don't you think so? I don't know it doesn't feel the same when have you ever seen the stars shine as brightly as here? um I guess I haven't, but we're closer to them, aren't we? I think you're right. The world's a Maybe lot bigger than Maybe one day I we can reach them. What do you think they feel like? Some feel soft. Some feel tougher. Some smell nice. Yeah. Like the sea. Huh. Cool. <laughs> Pip's just going to, as they walk, he's going to um, let go of... of squeaks cage for a moment but still it hovers on its own just trailing next to pip oh, cool invisible leash <laughs> it's like you're walking by some uh a window like this is a, um, an exposition of the universe itself uh, it feels a little dizzying. You still get this feeling that you could just fall in at any moment. Um, the view at the same time beautiful and terrifying. Uh, it just fills you with this kind of thrill that you don't think you'll ever experience anywhere else again. Uh, Viren, you could spend hours just mapping this out. I think specifically, like, Virian is, like, stopping, like, every few feet and is just really, like, taking this in. He's pretty enamored with it, I think. The fight with Sky is so alien, it really gives perspective to just how far from Plurna you are. There's no constellation recognizable whatsoever. Very 
any new ones? Do I see a dog? <laughs> <clears throat> um, for you the answer. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just thinking for the Ladarians among you uh, who are used to, to the Ladarian sky. Um, so Pip and Tekka, it, it would take a little bit to realize that you're familiar with this particular site it does feels like the perspective is a little off uh but eventually the two of you would begin to to be like oh yeah uh constellation of the dog sure <laughs> the <laughs> sheep dog uh and wh whatever stars you may or may not be familiar with um it just felt off looking at it from from this angle and eventually it does click all right let's go <laughs> brooke you have reached the first uh, uh, another one of these statues and uh, it seems identical to the other. Should I push the button? Professor, <laughs> should I push the button now? Should I push it now, Professor? <laughs> right now? Do you want to? <laughs> Maybe wait a, a few minutes. Oh, hurry up! I just I need a minute. I want to push the button! <laughs> Uh, Quantifex <coughs> is gonna pull out his, uh, his focus, the astrolabe, uh, and just start, kind of, like, hold it up to his face so he can kind of, like, look through it, uh, and is gonna try to, like, just align the various stars into it for, like, no real planned purpose, but just kind of, like, mapping out distance of things, just, like, uh, like, brain teaser type stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's just he's just taking a minute wasting time uh <laughs> he's, i don't know seeing seeing if stars line up in this astrolabe and of course they like do at a correct angle or whatever mm -hmm. uh, but he's just holding up his little brass thing and and fiddling around with it with the cat next to on uh, uh, life entirely pretends right now <laughs> Professor, look out! You press the button. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space bus. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Time to learn, kids. Kidding. <clears throat> Eventually. Yeah, Pontifex is gonna. Whenever he he comes back to the group, he's gonna stop right at the end, uh, and he's gonna like. Stick his head out uh, and like peek, peek around, like you know, hold his hand up against the wall so he doesn't fall. Oh, that and, like, way. Just kind of like Take stick his here. head out, yeah, and like look other directions instead of straight outwards, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, like, um, you know, hold his hand past the threshold. Is it the universe continues? Is this floor like this thin? Looking, uh, it's. It's thicker than this, but like maybe three or four feet. Um, no, less than that. A couple of feet. Um, when when you look out, you feel it's like the rest of the building, the rest of the moon just doesn't exist at all. And you know there should be something. You went down this tunnel. Um, there's it's something bigger that, on uh, the inside. <laughs> It feels like something is off, you know, as far as laws of physics go. Uh, and this is the ceiling on this side, yeah? Or I guess a wall uh, You now. do have a ceiling, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't put the ceiling in because otherwise you can't really see what's going on. But yes, there is a ceiling that's further I don't ahead. want Pip to rotate this thing and we fall off into <laughs> infinity, so. <laughs> I'm going to push it. Uh -huh. I'm going to push it. <laughs> Three to one push. I don't leave you. Okay. Can't do anything. Upon upon pushing <laughs> the button. <laughs> uh, whoop! That's the wrong thing. <laughs> we need to be careful with what I grab here. Uh, uh, where is it? 
I tested this, I promise. There we go. Uh, I did it. Squeaky's just vibrating violently <laughs> over there. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm having a seizure. This is the end for me. Help my dad. Uh, he, he should speak at my funeral. Maybe he should see me again. <laughs> he should show up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I miss him. We should oh, make this thing non-selectable someday. But anyway, uh, uh, the entire room shifts around again. Um, carried gently by this light, you rotate with it, uh, and you never, it never—it feels like gravity is always where you are. And you're back here, and uh, uh, in this direction, the tunnel continues, and it curves around further up ahead. Small dragon flies down from Virian's head, having a- it has a mouthful of hair that it has taken with it. Oh. Your haircut is a little uneven now. It's always a little uneven, it's fine. That's the wrong die. Oh no, you're taking damage from your hair being eaten. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's where Vivian stores their power. <laughs> Rapunzel situation. Okay. Uh, as far as you can tell, everything is fine. Um, Tekka, the small dragon has landed on the top of your staff. Uh, I think Tekka will, like, shuffle the rod around a little. Not, like, violently shake, trying to shake it off, but just, like, softly. Yeah, it's uh, it's thin enough that the dragon is actually struggling a, little, struggling a bit to stay on it. And the claws are scraping against the, the metal, and it's a very unpleasant sound. True. Yeah, it eventually flies down. <laughs> Shoo. Oh. <laughs> what is in front of us? Uh, the tunnel. Oh. Another one. Okay, ready to continue? Ready. Yep. Gonna mm. kidnap your tokens. Gonna take oh. everyone. <laughs> And then, and then jump Austin. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Suddenly, there is a brook in my hand looking up towards me. <laughs> he looks uh, friendly, okay? I didn't know minis showed up in your hand like that on your UI. Okay. The tunnel keeps twisting. And again, it, in ways that should make no sense. And uh, there comes a moment where it's straight ahead of you and it's not going up or down but it is twisting sideways and so it's like the spiral but as you walk down across it it just feels like the entirety of it is shifting with you so that you are always the right side up uh, until eventually you reach another chamber uh, that opens up and uh, before you see the room you you smell it uh, there's this very un pleasant smell in the air uh the it's a it's a smell that's kind of chemical and hard to pin down but it does burn your nostrils a little bit and it's um it feels like it's shifting um between different kinds you're smelling in more than one thing at once uh, by the time you actually step in you can see that the the entire floor ahead of you uh is slightly lower down compared to where your tunnel arrives uh, and it is covered in this fluid that there's multiple patches of it multiple colors and uh, I call it a fluid but it feels very dense um, very sticky uh, not it doesn't move around a whole lot, and that's definitely where the smell is coming from. And you can see it just dripping and dripping from the ceiling. Um, and looking up, there seems to be three specific sources of this uh, uh, 
of this substance. Uh, three specific spots of different colors. And... Uh, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. You arrive from here. There are walls to your left and to your right, but I did put a ceiling on this time. As the only dragon statues that you can see are uh, in front of you and then directly above you. And you can see that the, the statues are looking at one another. The one in front of you is looking upward and the one above you is looking down at it. You mentioned there was an exit to this room. Uh, on the opposite side, you can see a very large doorway. Um, currently closed, and for, even from this distance, you can just see these very... just. They're about your height, Pip. They are locks, but massive. Made of metal. Um, like the three padlocks closing the door that's on the other side of this vat of uh, terrible things. You can step up to the statue and then nowhere, uh, not, I mean, then there is a tiny drop and everything beyond this point. Oh, I can draw on it. Everything beyond this point uh, is covered in stuff. Up to this statue. I mean, if my, if my pattern recognition skills are on point, and I think they are. She'll just kind of, like, follow the dragon statue's gaze up. And imagine that we'll somehow end up on the ceiling if we... I'm assuming find another button on this one. I'm going to put aside the question of how these things work. Uh, in, in, instead, uh, pose the question why... Uh, is any of this uh, doing any of this? Uh, what is the purpose? I presume these were made. It seems like a strange function to put in. I don't know. God has a good security system. <laughs> it's, almost, isn't it? well, it's, it's not that good as one button. We're just walking through it. Well, we can now. There's a lock on that door. Three of them, actually. I mean, depending on the make, I might be able to take care of that. But getting over there is uh, another problem. Is this goo on the floor bad? It doesn't smell like anything that I would want to get close to, she says as she takes a step forward. Step all the way up to it. And I kind of kneel down and see if she can get a better look at it. And if it's not, like, too nasty to get close to, I think she might just kind of stick a finger in. Okay. So it smells nasty, but it kind of looks delicious. It glistens. Uh, it has this very vivid pink and greenish and yellow colors. Um, there's like this little small old side of you that just has this childlike reaction. Forbidden soup. <laughs> <laughs> um, and <laughs> you, 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 you give in to the temptation and just. Um, what did he say you wanted to do with it? She was just gonna stick a stick her hand in it. Just stick uh, hand. just like a, just yeah. like a little finger, just a little. Oh. This this next just step of the tip. scientific method. Yeah, yeah. just uh, the tip of of like your your the nail of your pinky finger. Uh, and uh, uh, which color are you going for? There's like three mainly. They're not really mixing. Hello, mm. uh, cyan or pink? What? Mm, cyan, that's the most delicious looking color. Okay. Um, the You're just immediately struck by this chill. It's really, really, really cold. Um, 
to the point where you take two points of cold damage. Oh. Um, it mm. feel, it's so cold that it feels like a burn. Then she'll just stick her hand and like immediately just pull it back out and shake her hand off a little bit. Well, anyone who tried to just charge forward would be in for a very bad time. That was not... I don't recommend doing that. Oh. Hold on. Let me try something. Uh, don't Pip has it, like a please. really old Sachi <laughs> from the jungle. <laughs> and he's going to like tear tear it into three pieces and chuck one into each different color of the the slime. Are you are you following the the Pontifex school of holding on to stuff until it spoils? Pip was gonna use it for a potion at some point, but it just kind of got stinky. This is from the jungle. Yeah. From way back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let, me, let me bring up my older notes. Okay, what did you say you want to do with it? Just uh, chuck one piece of it into each uh, color of slime. <laughs> see what see what it does. I I guess. Okay. Um. So tossing it in the cyan area. Um. It just remains there. It it doesn't really sink. It's, it, it feels like it's this thing is too viscous for anything to actually sink. Um, it just remains there on the pinkish colored, like almost strawberry flavor. Um, it <laughs> bursts into flames just immediately. And there's this like, oh, cool. terrible <laughs> smell of rotten fruit that just goes everywhere. Uh, and the piece that you have chucked on the yellow... Jello, um, <laughs> it disintegrates. Ashes remain. Oh. Pip gets out very slowly a little glass vial. <laughs> Can I get some? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. You're going to have to race me to it, and the professor's also going <laughs> out of vial. <laughs> I want some red. <laughs> I want some yellow. I, just try not to touch it, probably. I could do the other colors. I can't do this yellow thing. Um, what are they, glass vials? And, uh, yeah. Whenever uh, Pip is pulling out the... The Sachi. Uh, that reminds the professor. Can I check on my Ooplu? <laughs> Is it sentient yet? Does it have a personality? <laughs> Hello, Pontifex. Oh, it took you long enough. <laughs> wow. Free me from your backpack. <laughs> I'm Why trying to I make live? a new deity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored of the goat. I wish to worship the Ooplu. Pontifex, the moment you check on it, you feel like you have become instantaneously sick. Just immediately diseased. <laughs> diseased. <laughs> I feel unclean. <laughs> but that is sort of the point. It just has like a mason Smelling jar with this oop blue that's like so far past de decomposition. Okay, I, I don't know. I'll put it back next to my jar of the yellow spice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you... part of it, he's totally going to try to vial into using... the yellow. Yeah, if you're using glass vials, um, yeah, you can scoop some up, but th the main difficulty is that it's so viscous that, like, you, you stick in the jar and you try to, like, we, uh, move it around a little bit and it's hard for it to actually break down and go inside of it so it takes a little bit of maneuvering and eventually it zaps you but you get some in, in your jar ah, so you take 4 points of lining damage oh. it's a little shock I'm gonna add lightning in a bottle uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's an item great Getting a bottle of red. 
Um, yeah, same process. Uh, it's a bit of work, but eventually at the cost of eight points of fire damage. Eight! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like every time we mess with it, it doubles. <laughs> it four to eight. There's someone else to touch it. Fibonacci slime. <laughs> Uh, you eventually get some fire in your bottle. Fire jar. Ow! <laughs> Why didn't anyone warn me? <laughs> Why didn't I anyone stop warn me? Ow! I, I, I explicitly warned you. Uh, your warning was heeded momentarily and then ignored in pursuit of science. I'm not your mother, I can't stop you. It is worth it. Pip, the small dragon is licking your finger while you burned yourself. Oh, it, it's tongue still more. burns. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You, you can that... feel that the intentions are good, but it's making it worse. Mm. Does anybody else want to touch it before I see if there's a button on this dragon? Mm -mm. Uh, Definitely not. Oh. I would like to keep my fingers. And dip your toe in it. And my toes. What would you not like to keep? <laughs> dip your trauma into it. Sure thing. I'll unleash all my drama. Trauma, my drama. <laughs> What's happening? Submerge your negative emotions. <laughs> Let the, the gelatin purge you <laughs> of your impurities. Is there a button on this dragon? Yes, same location. <laughs> <laughs> Just as like as they're arguing over there, push the button. <laughs> okay, we push the button and everything begins to shift. With everything, I mean, <sighs> need to grab your tokens. Good, we good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna oh, actually it's the other way around. And go woo. Whoa. Uh, the light uh, that emits from the dragon statue, it goes uh across the floor, uh up one of the walls, and then eventually across the ceiling and it connects to the other one. And that light uh, it's like Pleasant, warm embrace. It carries you with it uh, until you all safely land on what used to be the ceiling and uh, now is currently the floor. Uh, you're face to face with these sources of the ooze, uh, kind of cube shaped. It, it, they just seem to be masses of the very fluid that you were messing with moments ago. Uh, and being partially transparent and shaped as they are and being able to see through them you can see that there is a, a pretty large metal key right in the center of each of them uh, and they are sliding slowly forward towards you uh, and this is where we're roll initiative oh this is this is giving me nostalgia memories of <laughs> mm -hmm. This is fine. <laughs> now, let's see if anything explodes when I do this. <gasps> Nothing exploded. Marvelous. Slimes, they are free. Holy 18s. Then give them names. Okay, so what have we decided? Strawberry, lemon, mint? Oh. Sure. Not ketchup. <laughs> Wanna do ketchup? We can do ketchup. For the memories. For the memories.
Um... Wait, really? All my cubes are at the bottom? <laughs> Ketchup, <laughs> mint, and lemon. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, bloop. Then we're going to begin with the... Is ketchup more variant. dexterous than a cat? <laughs> uh, Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> how, how... No. No, it isn't. Nice. I didn't know how acrobatic <laughs> ketchup can be. Varyon. <clears throat> uh, the cubes are moving uh, towards you. Oh, let me uh, let me align this one with the grid a little better. So. Yeah. There's a... You said there's a a key in each one, right? Mm-hmm. Right. It's massive. Like, it's the length of your forearm. Okay. Uh, do they look approximately like they would fit in those locks across the room? The massive lo locks across the room? Yeah, probably. Okay, okay, cool. Um, I want to see Severian do something real stupid. Yeah. All right. <laughs> sure. I'm kidnapping so, the dragon for a second. So she just kind of looks at these big jelly cubes and then across the the room and at the, the key in there and she just runs towards this cube over here. Is it like in the middle of it? Oh uh, yeah, right in center. Uh, which she is going to try to grab that key. Just if she has to go in, she's going in. Uh, okay. Boop. Okay, that means uh, if you stick your arm in, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw at the disadvantage. Okay, okay. And we're rolling... Ow. Okay. I guess. I want that inspiration that Dennis was giving out earlier because this is terrible. Well, um, that's okay. it. So, yeah. uh, Virion, it's horribly hot. And with horribly, I mean I rolled horribly low, so... It doesn't sound too scary, but eight points of fire damage for for going for it and uh, um, sticking your arm in. Uh, it's a little bit out of your reach, and you could go further, like with your shoulder. You could go further in with part of your head, um, and you're like deciding whether you want to do it. And I think you were set she, on doing it. She is set on doing um, it. Um, it's like. It's like the cube is also set on you doing it, and like it just gently pulls you in. Um, and you are fully inside of the cube, and the key is in your grasp. Okay, cool. And then bonus action, Blessing of the Wolf, and bamf 30 feet out this yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if I crit, so this runs in. The... <laughs> Yeah, covered in, in this sticky substance, um, just the entirety of you having become a little bit more pinkish. Um, your clothes are taking this rather well, uh, but you still every part of your skin that comes in contact with this feels uh, uh, it's it's painful. And you have left behind a varion shaped hole in the center of this cube. Are you that works. I don't recommend it. <laughs> that is I'm assuming it was action to grab the key uh, yes it is yes it is okay cool then that is my turn okay uh Brook alright I think all I can do is walk Well said. So it's my turn. Hey, Bip. Huh. Uh huh. 
Ajá. Yeah. Ah. Huh? Pip's going to move forward. Is he carrying so squeak? To... Yes, yes. Okay. He's trying to weave through the uh, the slimes. <clears throat> and we'll use dodge action. And that's okay. it. Alright. On initiative 20, before we move on to Tekka, um, looking up you can see that what used to be the floor and is now the ceiling is slowly, very slowly, starting to drip down oh, no. towards you. Uh, because of how viscous this thing is, it's taking a while for the droplets to build up, but some are beginning to rain upon you. Uh, so I need uh, Virion whenever Jory's back, Pip, Squeak... Uh, Squeak doesn't have to. Squeak has, like, the top of the cage to protect him. <laughs> uh, Severian, Pip, and Brooke uh, need to roll a dexterity saving throw. Surely. Nope. Why am I rolling? I don't need to roll. <laughs> Team. Okay, and we'll we'll get to Virion later. Uh, but oh, yes, please. <clears throat> um, the <clears throat> droplets of uh, of this liquid above your heads are Not beginning ten. to hit the ground. Not eight. ten, eight. eight. Oh, eight that was supposed is a to failure. Be a roll with advantage. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so, Pepe, like they, they're they're pretty spread out right now. It's not there's not a whole lot of this liquid falling around. Um, but uh, uh, you're unfortunate enough that you just feel this something hitting the top of your head, um, and uh, it. Where is it? Oh, I changed my max health again. Um, the max, max two, max three, it has the arrows next to it. Is it, is it just max? Is it the first one? Yeah. Yes. So okay. two, that's cold damage uh, for the total 14. It's a large, uh, drop of this stuff, uh, falls right on your head and your hair just freezes in place. So 14? 14, yes. Ateka. Hmm. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. What's to do? What to do? Uh, the Ateka will move forward slightly, and then he's gonna do some science testing. Let's go. Um, so he's gonna take out the bow we got from the one who stares in the jungle is going to try to fire one arrow at the closest cube just to see how far it would reach. Like, how dense is this material? Okay. Uh, roll your attack roll. Okay. Okay, this thing is really big, really easy to aim at. 18 comfortably hits. Um, roll your damage and I'll tell you how far the air goes in. Okay. Can do. Um, it makes it... Uh... 
almost to the center, like one third of the way in, and eventually just stop, stops where it is. Um, on as it goes in, it sizzles a little bit, and it's burning up on the inside, and you can see it just being consumed while it is within the cube. Uh, but <clears throat> the the hole that it made, much like Virion's shape, uh, it it remains. And the arrowhead did not reach the center. No, it got close. Okay. Good to know. That's my turn. On the vex. Uh, yeah. uh, I guess. I'm trying to see what what damage types I could do with this thing. Yeah, this sounds like a great idea. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, I'm gonna cast Flaming Sphere, uh, and I'm going to change the damage type uh, to yeah. Let's do Thunder. That's a I'll I'll do the Wub Wub. I'll Skrillex these things. Put it actually. Yeah, let's put it here. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to bonus action uh, ram it with the thing. All right. So it needs to make a deck safe. The catch up. The catch up. Uh, um, rolls an eleven. Perfect. So it's got this much thunder damage. My rolls are so freaking sick. Seven. <laughs> it's reacting to the vibrations. Um, the closer, <laughs> jiggles, the closer honestly. the sphere. Yes, it, j it jiggles. Um, I've ever seen those videos where like they put sand on a plate, and like mm -hmm. based on the sound you make, they make different shapes. Yeah. It, uh, you can you can see all these different shapes just uh, uh, appearing on the surface of the <laughs> ketchup cube. Um, it's kind of mesmerizing. And also, if this thing is alive, or which in some manner or another it seems to be, that cannot be pleasant. Anything right, else great. from Pontifex? Yeah, he's gonna move. No, he's not. Yeah, he's gonna move right here. Okay. Caged squeak. Yeah, get him! Get him good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the chess him. Now uh, the trust in a uh, natural cat fashion is going to fly over here. Uh, I think she's going to be above it actually. How do I go up? Uh, let me let me grab a platform. How high up? Uh, how tall is this thing? 10? So like 15. 15. Uh, but yeah, she's gonna like come off of Pontifex's little shoulder plate and like basically start swooping around uh, with the cube and you know, like the way that like cats toy with like the most poisonous snakes in the world, that type of thing. Uh, yes. Uh, that does complete <laughs> abandon for, for its own <laughs> safety and security. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like swooping around and like, you know, batting at this thing randomly uh, it's gonna take the help action on this on the catch up <laughs> okay uh, and with its flyby then it's gonna go 15 feet up in the air mm -hmm. and that's oh, it um... like to where okay. it is now okay all right What have I got? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, does something happen from being close to the sphere at the start of, it, of, it, of its turn? I uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I don't think it's at the end. I, I think it's when it, if it ends its turn next. Got it. Uh, yeah. There is a perfectly good child-sized snack over here. Sorry, I'm kidnapping <laughs> yummy, the yummy. cat. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Um, 
Ugh. Okay. Uh, Pip, your your focus is over here. You're walking this way. You're carrying uh, Squeak, which the cage is pretty heavy. Uh, and then you hear this like sizzling noise behind you, um, and you smell burnt clothes. And you look back, and it's your own clothes. Um, as this cube is closing in on you and uh, uh, tries uh, to do something uh, off approximately like that, but less silly. Um, <laughs> so I need a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I believe this is called glomping. <laughs> <laughs> I did do the dodge action, so it is with mm -hmm. advantage. If I can roll it. And I there it goes. Difficult. Oh wow! Oh, I think no. it's I think it's time to use one of these three. Oh <laughs> yes, you should. Hmm, which one? Uh, let's uh, let's do Sinner Expiration because of memories. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. You got it a four out. and then a three, and how can it possibly be worse except a two? <laughs> Where's my inspiration bag? If your uh, next d20 is a shoot. one, this game's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it's first, a nat 20, so you're fine. First, you smell your own clothes burning, and then your own hair, uh, and then your your skin is burning, and this is very unpleasant, and suddenly you are just entirely enveloped in this thing. Um, Sounds pretty bad. It is 10 points of fire damage. Oh god. Click, click, and... Oh no, I missed a die. Oh no, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> Sweet is dropped, also. Mm-hmm. Uh, 20? Cool. Ah, uh, well, cool. The opposite of cool. Uh, is what it feels like. Uh, uh, yeah, the rest of you can see Pip inside of this now, much like Virun earlier, but against his will. <coughs> um, the small dragon lets out a bit of a like a high pitched shrill and goes to hide behind the statue near Tekka. Uh, Brook. Mm -hmm. I will need a dexterity saving throw from you as the cube goes clump. Clump. And maybe standing right in front of it wasn't the best idea. Okay. Um, so you looked back for a moment and you saw what happened to Pip, but then you look ahead and you can feel this cold sensation just approaching you and you step back and you step back and you step back as it keeps on just slowly coming <laughs> towards you <laughs> and you're like no 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 <laughs> just keeping it at a slight distance it'll move 15 or 20 feet from where i was before i think i'm missing one uh, um and it's it's trying very hard to give you a hug uh, there is these uh, uh, extensions of itself that are reaching for you and, and trying to grab you and, and you're just pulling away from it. Nope, 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 until you're almost with your back against Virion. Oh uh, god. This cube over here is on a journey. Ah, oh. ah 40 is here. Here we go. It's fast. <laughs> ah, Viren, back to you. You have a very large key. A very large key. Alright. Um, I can move through Squeak's space, right? Because he's little? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's just gonna... As the cubes keep trying to swallow us, just... Shadow just... Oh, careful, watch it! Uh, and move here. And we're gonna try to grab... If she can. Um. So earlier, when you reached for the key, you were yes. trying to like get into the cube, but you could also feel that a cube was effectively pulling you in. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And the strength was enough that you feel like if you were to reach in again, you would inevitably end up where Pip is. Um, so as long as you have an escape route, I suppose it's fine, but that's that that's yeah. what you know. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Right? Um, then you reach in for Pip. Yeah. And you can grab him, but also yep. you end up inside with him. Uh, yes. and... With 12 points of fire damage. And oh, oh, this isn't working. <laughs> Lock everything in place. Yep. Uh, but you have, you have Pip. Okay, <clears throat> gonna try to keep <clears throat> moving the other way and keep try to pull him out if possible. Um, you can try it, but yes. next round. Um, so anything else like bonus actions in any more? Uh... I'm re rereading my stuff. Uh... Yeah, so... Bonus action. She's going to, uh, as she's kind of grabbing Pep, just like, D Don't worry, I've got you. And... Uh, you're going to use Warlord's Favor, and you, Pip, will get eight hit points back and eight temporary hit points. Oh, Ooh. thank you. Does that require speaking? It, and yeah, being heard? Yes. Okay. If not, um, can I do it before going in, if possible? Yeah, uh, I'd okay. say that from the inside you can hear outside and the other way around. Um, okay. Right, but it's fine. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, do it. Um, it's just once you're in there, then you have to yes. hold your breath. Yes. <laughs> Someone okay. feels better. <laughs> Brooke. All right, I would like to try. Swing out the key. Out of the cube. Just a slice, if that's possible. Mm -hmm. Slice it up. Alright. Twelve to hit. Twelve hits. Ooh. It's big, it's slow, there is no armor on it. Um, and you're just cutting through it. You, you cut the slice. And it holds its shape, like the hole remains. Eight. Um, you don't get to, to the key quite yet, but you're like digging your way through. Alright, can I use my second attack to go further? Yeah, yeah. Keep cool, going. Cool, cool, cool. Thirteen hits. Alright. Uh -huh. It's fine. It's good. It's good damage. <laughs> it's like God blew over the plus seven. <laughs> Anything else? Well, uh, did I get the key out? Uh, not yet. Uh -oh. Like you're you're chopping away at pieces of this cube, uh, and they're coming off. It's like slicing some cheese. Oh, uh, um, okay. And you're you're effectively making a hole to the key. I'll be fine. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Pip. Um, first. Okay, at the start of your turn. Uh, you are burning up. I need to get more dice. Don't say that. <laughs> I love saying it. It's illegal. Is it? Yeah. It is now. Okay. 
Um, so you take 26 points of fire damage. 26? Mm hmm. Okay, so eight temporary hit points makes it 18. And then I'm unconscious. <laughs> Uh, Vera and Pip goes, uh, yeah. just, yeah, <laughs> just limp in, in your arms. Uh, his clothes are visibly burning up, his hair, uh, the, he, his skin is charring, just turning black before your eyes. Uh, this stuff is nasty. Um, eh, that's, that's it, sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's I mean, see. Did I say sorry? I mean, I'm wah -ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> Player pain. It's me. Ooh. Okay, it's not letting me move. There we go. Okay. So, Pip is unconscious. Mm -hmm. Um... Tekka is going to reach in for Pip with one hand and then use the spring-loaded uh, core staff to try to pull Pip out with that extra force. How are you using the staff to help you pull him out? So, Tekka is holding Pip in one hand and then holding the staff in the other and having it at an angle that pushes both of them away from the cube. Like against the floor? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what you're going for. Mm -hmm. um... Let me look at the staff. I think it has a thing that you can roll to hold on to it when you, when yes, you spring it, right? Yes, it's a DC 15 Dexterity Acrobatics. Okay. So that would be if you were doing this on your own, but you're trying to pull Pip out. Yes. Um, so I'd say to do that, um, mm -hmm. but the, the DC is going to be 20 instead. That makes a lot of sense to um, me. Yep. And that's in addition to like... First, like you reach in with your arms and you're going to burn yourself a little bit. So let, let me just resolve that yep. <laughs> quickly before I forget. Uh, that's seven points of fire damage. All right. And if you fail on pulling him out, uh, um, you're stuck in there with, with them. Yeah, that's fair. There is There's room for more. There has to be some consequence to this. All right, I'm going to roll it. Um, also, if this works, it would take Pip out, but like... Not Virion. Yeah. Even though she's like holding him. We're good. Okay, let's see what we do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use more of my inspiration die. It would definitely not do it. Mm hmm. And that would be 21. 21 nice. does it. Yoink, dream inspiration to the bag. <laughs> um, I don't think... Well, yeah, no, because you just met up. Virion hasn't seen your stuff in action. Um, so Tekka has this metallic quarter stuff-like contraption uh, that looks thick and sturdy, and Tekka uses it, like, he walks around with it. Um, and... Indeed, with with one hand, he reaches in for Pip, and like Viren, you can you can see that he has something in mind, and you let go of Pip, uh, and Tekka's staff, as it's pushed down against the ground, the bottom of it, uh, it just shoots out a couple of inches forward with this uh, spring-activated mechanism, and the the force of that. Uh, uh, launches Tekka into Brook, I guess? That way? <laughs> uh, uh, well, it says how far I can does choose it take any at uh, 20 feet, and it says I can choose a direction, so I could choose a oh, slight sure. diagonal. Yeah, yeah. No, no, choose me, choose me, <laughs> and then push me with the sword through the cube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anime moment aside. Uh, <laughs> Pick a direction. 
Uh, yeah, I think it's probably going to be like there. I also don't, <laughs> don't think it would be. <laughs> I okay, also don't think it would be 20 feet because, like, it's a lot more weight. True. You know? then so I'm going to say it there. Yeah. We're going to grab Pip and <coughs> he comes with. Chum! Just ejected along. Uh, uh, and since that. Pip does uh, not look good. No, I cannot he, imagine. He looks well done. Oh, oh my god. Medium uh, rare, maybe. Oh, hey, we skipped. Uh, uh, this is what happens when I don't put it. I'll do it after your turn, Tekka. Initiative 20, okay. initiative 20. Um. Right, right, right. Uh, so it says that is a bonus action to that staff thing. So can I do anything else on this turn? or? Uh, grabbing Pip uh, was an action. It's the action? Okay. okay. Gra yeah, grabbing then... things inside of the cubes uh, takes an action. And the turn. All right. So, uh, right. Small rewind when this would have happened. Pip would have been in the cube. Uh, so Pip doesn't need to roll a save, and Squeak doesn't need to roll the save because he's in the cage. So it's only Brook and Eka that would have been in the area uh, for the stuff that's falling from the ceiling. Dexterity again? Yep. Get, get those dexterity saves ready. I like those. Okay. On a 17, you are good. On a 12, oh. on this round, you are not. Are you keeping it, Sid? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the color is... Invalid. Stop rolling force. Okay, it's cold. Uh, so, a small rain of very, very cold substance falls on Tekka for a grand total of 7 cold damage. Okay, and then he goes for the re to the rescue of Pip, and then all that happens, and then we move on to Pontifex. Wait, the Tresim is in the area, actually. Yeah. Can I have a deck save for her, too? Uh, sure. Uh... She is also hit by oh, no. the stuff that falls from the ceiling, which in her case is lining flavored. Uh, she's nine points of lining damage. Uh, yeah, she poof. Oh, oh, poof. She's struck from the sky. Poofs in the feathers. Oh, you take her back. Whoa, not like that. Can't just jettison my thing. cat across the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Shadowzumius. Okay. Uh, Pontifex. Um, catless Pontifex. It's your turn. Uh, yep. First thing first. I'm going to bonus act. Smash the orb into it. Dex orb it. smash! Negative. Uh, number. Then that much thunder. Uh, on this. On catch it. Okay, sorry. Math. Uh, so key wise, uh, Virian took the one from catch up. Mm hmm. And we. Brooke, Brooke hasn't taken key from Mint. Not yet. yet. Right? I'm at it. I'm at it. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm okay, sorry. Uh, I'm going to move. What's that? Uh, Where is it? Uh, Where is it? It's 15. This is 20. Okay, I'll go here. Uh, and then let's yeah those are within 30 uh, I don't know if this is going to work on them but we're going to try it uh, I'm going to cast Mind Whip uh, and I'm going to upcast it uh, as long as these things are within 30 feet of each other 
and they are, I can do this. Uh, so they both have to make intelligence saves. Okay. Ketchup is four and mint is minus three. Great. Uh, so these uh, to each of uh, 10 points of psychic to both of them. Uh, they can't take reactions until the end of their next turns, uh, which is coming up. Uh, and on their turns, they have to choose between an action, a move, or a bonus action. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, that is both. Question, whenever I mind whip these things, do I get any semblance of, uh, like... There is recoil. There is a visual indication of, uh, of like pain being sustained. Okay, and, and like, like mind apart. whip worked, so it stands for reason these things have minds to be whipped. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think Professor is is familiar with these things, so he's, I don't know if these are like creatures or just like a weird substance that I put into a jar. Great. That that's that's my turn. Mm -hmm. And right now it feels both, both. Great. Uh, Smart substance. It's like a fungus. Is still jailed. Somebody pick me up. Somebody pick me up. <laughs> now, now, now. Give me, give me, give me. Give me. Hold on. Uh, I think the cube will answer that re that request. Not you! <laughs> Not you! <laughs> so, can't move and act. Um, it's just move or action or bonus action. Okay, I feel like a moving would be productive because there's a line of people right here. Uh, does that its full movement? Wait, it's stupid. Let me roll for what it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, one is movement, uh, two is action, three is bonus action. Ah, it's an action. Okay. Uh... Alright, Squeak it is chews. within uh, reach. So, um, part of uh, this creature's body extends outward um, and uh, falls upon Squeak's cage. Am I missing an imp in a cage? Six with advantage. It Oh, it misses. <laughs> I, uh... Squeak, like, presses himself to the top of the cage that's more enclosed <laughs> and just watches as ooze, like, seeps in yeah. through the, the bottom. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Considers playing dead again. <laughs> uh, yeah? I missed? <laughs> Uh, the dragon is going to be on the statue, on top of it. Oh no, you know what? Huh. Alright, Pontifex, can you roll a little perception check for me? My rolls are so good. Uh, you're, you're you're paying attention to the battlefield, of course. So I'm paying so much attention. Uh, just very intense attention that way and not this way. Okay. I'm just gonna kidnap this over here. You have taken my cat from me, but it is okay, as I am sure my new dragon friend is just behind me. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me too. Um, I'm, I'm doing the same thing and I'm just gonna roll for movement action or bonus action. I keep rolling four, so my d4 is it's upsetting. 
Uh, it's an action again. Uh, so Brook does a not 20 hit. Yes, it does. Kapow. Okay. Um, so a section that you had cut off of the cube, mm. um, that is still attached by just a little flap of blue substance, um, it spins around and comes down on you from above. <laughs> um, you, it, it felt almost accidental, like this thing doesn't really have a mind to, powerful enough to... to Take you by surprise, um, and the stars align. Then you take twenty-three points of cold damage. Oh, okay. Uh, and you're just covered in this stuff, and woo, it's freezing. Um, this boy is still on a journey. <laughs> Twenty-five. Can I get to squeak? Nope. Forty. <laughs> Virion. Ooh. Um, we start with uh, some strawberry flavored damage. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is 17 of the fire variety. This is fine. This is fine. All right, first things first, now that, you know, Pip is not in here anymore, we're going to, uh, bam. I, um, uh, I can't grab my mini. Oh, I locked it, sorry. Yeah, sorry, five, ten. We're just going here straight. Go. Right okay, cool. One. Get that way. And... Mm. So I, I think she's just gonna kind of like assess the situation and uh, move. I still can't move myself. <laughs> did, did I leave you? What? What? How? There, there we go. I don't know. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna... Can move you and then lock you? <laughs> uh, scoot around here and dodge. And that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Rook. I'm gonna keep slicing against slice, the pain. Slice, slice. Fifteen hits. Okay. That's damage. So am I through? You are one point of damage away from being through. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. Can I use my inspiration? Uh, yes, you can just make okay. it again. Actually, oh, yeah. you don't need to use your inspiration. I use my reaction. So, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, what does Virion tell him? She's just like, you're almost through. I can see it from the other side. <laughs> I trust and you. And slash. 22 hits. Okay. Three of these four attacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... On your fourth blow, right, as Varian is spurring you on, uh, your weapon finally, it clangs against something metallic. Um, this key has the, like, the pommel part of it, at the, at the very back, it has a hole. 
uh, and your your sword catches onto that, and you fish it out. You have a key. Ooh, nice. Mm. Uh, are you using a shield? Like, is your second hand occupied? Yeah. Okay, uh, it, it clings at your feet, then. Oh. The key. Can I... I mean... Did Virion pick the key up? Virion's got key and shield situation right now. Oh. Hence the not attacking. I think I will get a little bit out of the side and keep pushing it with me. So that's possible. Just kick the key. Yeah. Yeah, you, you dribble past the cube. <laughs> it can't take reactions, so you're fine. Oh, nice. Wait, no, until the end of its next turn. It can take reactions, right? Not yeah, nice. it had a turn. <laughs> ah, so it can. You leave its reach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Pip is uh, unconscious. Dying. Indeed. Uh, please proceed to tell me, you know, the, the amount of dying that you're performing. Yes, will do. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> zero! Oh, zero is, is the question. amount. I was oh debating goodness. between healing pip or fireball, and I think you made the decision <laughs> for me. Do <laughs> 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 like, heal people thing. with fireball, pip? There's no one to heal anymore. There's <laughs> zero reason to heal anyone at all. So fireball it is. <laughs> so uh, just dodge it. You just breathe in and it's air. You're, you, you had a mouthful of burning stuff in your mouth and you just spit it out and you you gasping for air. Uh, you're with Tekka. Uh, Squeak is screaming. There's a whole lot going on around you. So, uh, as a note before I get onto my turn, mm -hmm. uh, Pip had previously programmed that creepy doll uh, to <laughs> say things uh, whenever certain things happen. Mm -hmm. And so, every time Pip got injured in this fight, about like seven times in the last 12 <laughs> seconds, you've heard, Ouch, I've been hurt! Ouch, I've been hurt! Ouch, I've been hurt! <laughs> and when he went unconscious, it was, Open that door! Um, and now laying on the ground, um, skin sizzling, his eyes open and glow a vibrant green, uh, and the, the, uh, effigy, that, uh, bleached white doll that Pip carries around with him, um, starts to, like, disintegrate in a way, and the strings start falling apart and instead wrap around Pip like a cocoon. Oh, shit. And... Emerging from it will be something else as Pip casts Polymorph on himself to turn himself into a challenge rating 7 creature. Oh my god! Okay! Alright, while I fetch I like, oh, that... Hell, Pip is digivolving right before our eyes! <laughs> while I fetch that, Austin, correct me if I'm wrong. Has Pip never seen he the drow? He has never seen the drow. Okay! Is, yep. He has seen the drow now. He has seen the drow. We'll get to that. <laughs> Challenge rating seven. That will be a normal bus too. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Just I just have no idea where the mini. <laughs> oh. Somewhere in here. Did I name it correctly? I did. Wait, it's a baby. Why is it the baby? Because we had an armored bus to baby we looked for. Yeah, but we also had a big one. Why do I only have somebody kill it? Did I give the mini to you guys? No, no, no. Let she's me fine. check. Nobody killed her. Um. Ah. All right. What's the size on a stat block? Have I given you the stat block? I have it now. Okay. 
Ah, uh, it's huge. So, I'm gonna get here. Uh, and it's huge means four squares. Monkey. Monkey. Uh, no, that's three. Oh my god. Wait, huge means three, right? Yeah, huge is three. Largest. Oh, you're right! Largest two, huge is three. I can count, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, what color would you like to be? Uh. <laughs> Armabastu flavored. Hold on. Armabastus <laughs> come on in white, brown, black. Um, no, that's it. Brown monkey. Brown monkey. <clears throat> so, uh, Tekka. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Emerging right next to you. Uh, reminiscent of that time we met one of these. Uh, <laughs> an enormous Armabastu. With this... The same intelligence as Pip. It actually is true this time. <laughs> uh, this mini is full of holes for some reason. <laughs> Swiss the cheese armor boss two that appeared next to you wants to grab you, Tekka. Uh, <laughs> Do you consent? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, at first, I think like... Both Tech and Pip are probably on the ground when you're like flung away from the cube. Uh, and then as <laughs> Pip is transforming, Tech is just like trying to shuffle away on the ground. Uh, probably going through some of the like the, the goo that's on, on the ground here. Um, uh, trying to get away. But then seeing this armor bus to probably reach out in some fashion, trying to grab him. Uh, Tekka does remember that Pip has transformed into this uh, giant elephant before, so <laughs> understands what is happening and will accept. Um, then <laughs> now being palmed in this enormous ape fist, uh, you're in one hand. Pip also reaches and grabs Squeak's cage. And then just wants to make a running leap and just jump over all of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's make it an athletics check. While. Oh, wait, well, jumping is acrobatics. Just trying to figure out how to fix that initiative. There is no fixing it. We just know that it's on Pip's initiative. Yeah, take it off. Come here. What am I rolling? Acrobatics. Acrobatics. That's a lot worse than athletics. <laughs> you thought big monkeys can jump? Wrong. They can belly flop. 13. Uh, 13 would mean that uh, um, by its size, it can make the jump. Uh, the 13 just means that it scrape, you scrape your feet against one of these. Uh, so you get a little, um... The beans. So a little zap. Mm-hmm. Uh, for 14 points of lightning damage. Question. Uh, when answer. I make a concentration check, is it with the monkey stats? Yes. Yeah. My constitution uh, yeah. is much Only better. Only wild shape is one where you keep your like your own mental stats, but for everything else... Constitution is not mental. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying in all yeah. cases of changing to an animal, you always use the... And you're fine. 18. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, Virion, this... <laughs> Uh, you have never seen this kind of creature before. Um, why is it here and not here? Sorry, my, my notes are a mess. 
All right. Um, so we've been we've been calling it monkey, and uh, it is a reasonable the word to use, but. I'm going like through session 30 notes. Um, Pip, do you want to describe the Armabastu and save me? <laughs> Spare Control me from F, Mama Bastu. Uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, where are my notes? Why am I a, a mess? I have written in my notes a single sentence. Armabastu, primates that can grow to enormous sizes. That's nice. my Pokedex cool. entry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, regardless, not the weirdest uh, thing today. Yeah, right, right, sorry. Of course. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, I guess you can't see this from a visual inspection. Uh, besides the fact that, like, it, its fur is shining a little bit in a way that feels like magic attuned. But of course, this is a magical transformation of pips, so that makes sense from your point of view. Um, question it later. Mm -hmm. So anyways, on initiative 20. Um, is that everybody? Minus squeak and minus tech. Attack is in the protection of the of paper. Uh, so the armor boss to Virion, Brooke, and Pontifex need to roll dexterity saving throws. Uh, as it's raining. Hallelujah. Ten failure. Oh my goodness. There we go. 15 on this round, failure. Oh, oh no! It's raining more than before. 21, success. Uh, am I missing Pip? Oh, sorry. Um, a dexterity mm. save. Okay, 20 succeed, is success. So everyone who failed 10 points of uh, cold damage. Uh, I'm going to cast Absorb Elements and lower okay. that as little. Absorb it into the staff. Now Tekka can take his turn. Uh, so am I being held at this point? Is Tekka just, you know, chilling if out? If you want and... to be. <laughs> Either held or pushed. It took an unwilling there's... ride. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's much Tekka could do from this position is all, I think. Tekka might try to leave. Um... Because we only have the lemon cubes key left to get, right? Is that mm -hmm. uh, oh, correct? Correct. Let me let me fix the text. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, then I think Tekka is going to uh, screw on the hammer bar attachment, leap off, and try to fish out that key <laughs> using the. <laughs> The hammer yes. iron head. Let's go. Ugh. This is what happens when I give you a Swiss army knife. Yes. <laughs> Which attachment are you using? Uh, so it's like a, a hammer, right? So you have the hammer head, you have the, like, the backside, which is like a forked. The, the D nailer. The staff mm -hmm. is long. Okay. It, yeah. <laughs> so you can do that as you reach in and your uh, 
you, you, you wrap around the, the key and you're ready to pull back. You can feel that stuff just keeps moving forward instead. Uh, the cube is trying to suck it and you in. Uh, so I will still need that save. Let me go back to the side block. I will still need a deck save. Deck save! Keeping it? Keeping it. Okay. Um, you got the key in the sense that it is at the end of your staff and you're still holding your staff. Um, but you're also inside of this now. Yay! Great! Is that the end of your turn? I guess it has to be. Uh, I don't, like, what can I do in here? I, I don't know if you have any bonus actions. But... Mm. Mm. I, like what that I, I think I'll just do it next turn. I get to Okay. Everything. Off to Pontifex. Uh yeah, I actually remembered the, the ketchup cube ended its turn next to the ball. Oh it did! Because it Messed didn't around. move. It was got a deck save or take. It is. It is a good. Oh no! <laughs> another pitiful amount of damage. And another pitiful save. So six points of thunder damage, which melts it. There is ketchup everywhere. Ooh. It is now a puddle like that. Nice. Oh. Well done. Or ketchup. Uh, then yeah, like, bonus. It just, <laughs> <big>. <laughs> it just <Yes>. stretches. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bonus act. I can't. Oh, here we go. Bonus action here, and I'm gonna ram the the lemon. <laughs> okay. Dex it. Is it is it a good roll? Oh my god. Does a 15 pass? Uh, I don't think so. Let me check. Do I literally need a nat 20 to succeed on these saves? Uh, it's a DC 16. Okay, oh. yeah. Uh, it's a failure. Okay, great. I rammed the lemon for nine. <laughs> nine thunder. It's the first time the lemon has been rammed. <laughs> Spit it out. Out, drop it. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it! <laughs> here, it's still the pets se uh, session. It's just <laughs> cubes are the pets. Speaking of pets, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is crazy. Oh man, I'm glad I'm in this cage. <laughs> 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 uh, ketchup cube is melted. Okay, I'm going to. No, that's concentration. That's a bad idea. Uh, so it doesn't seem like uh, hitting these things can get them to like regurgitate friends. Oh, no. No. Okay. Can I? These keys are big. Do these keys look like they're too big to be mage handed? Definitely. Okay. Uh, sorry, I had a couple plans. None of them work. <laughs> uh, the dude. Uh, yeah, this is this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the dead the lemon. I'm gonna I'm gonna go bleat it. Uh, wisdom save. Um, did you ever recover the amulet from the dragon? Uh, my oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, ironically, my toll the dead is actually a wizard spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
because so I can only hear? have three cleric cantrips. So the the only three cleric cantrips I have are guidance, light, and thaumaturgy. That's so I need hilarious. to be able to put light on it. Okay, let's say that. Okay, you you go you go for your spell right, and you hear the <laughs> bar. But the bar is coming from like a completely different direction. It's very far away, very muffled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very distant goat bleating, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the lemon needs to roll uh, wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> Zero. <The> DC sixteen. <laughs> Zero wisdom. <laughs> okay, come on, roll, roll big numbers. Ah, eh, okay. Okay. Uh, that uh, much necrotic, if it matters. As, as faint uh, as the sound was, um, the, the, the cube seems offended and takes the full damage. <laughs> Bleeding off in the distance. Oh, um, that was, oh, where's my dragon? Oh, no! <laughs> so you <laughs> hear a far away, you hear a far away bleeding and it's immediately followed by like a surprised shriek from the dragon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That they get it's like spooked. a cat with a noisemaker stuck on its tail. <laughs> it's just <laughs> losing its mind. <laughs> okay, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Squeak is uh, still yeah. happy to be in the cage. Um, I press the wrong button. The ketchup has been spread, and uh, um, the mint is feeling fresh. It can act as it wants now, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, I keep putting away my D4 and I keep needing it. Ah, uh, that is a two. Brook. Oh my goodness. A good roll? A 22 to hit? What the heck? Yeah. And then meth. Uh, 11 points of cold damage uh, as whatever is left of this bluish cube um, decides that he just really wants to slap you. <laughs> uh, lemon flavor. Uh, mm -hmm. yada yada yada. Okay, Virion. Uh, let's do the deck saves. Oh yes, because he finished uh, the, the turn. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually. But both, so mint first. Isn't it at the end of the turn? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I still need to act with the yellow one. But, yeah, we'll get oh. to that. Um... So blue just went to blue... What save? Dex save. Dex? Uh, no. DC 16. Yeah, 14. Good roll, but... There you go. Nope. Nine points at thunder. The nine... Uh, oh, actually, math? No, nine is, is, is enough to melt it. Plumbing Sphere is such a good spell. Especially with things that can't move and also can't pass deck saves. Okay. It spreads out. Oh. Ah. I may have made it worse. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, Viren is this substance is uh, um, approaching your boots. The lemon. Did I already roll the attack? I don't think I did. You, you haven't said anything stopped. if you did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> eight. Eight to hit you. Nope. I want to hit all my attacks. I like, I like big numbers. Yeah. Um, it's also a disadvantage too, so. Oh, it's a disadvantage. I, I dodged. You were dodging, that's I, right. I, I was dodging, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tossed my die anyway, and it was a natural one. Yeah. Just cherry on top. 
Um, and it makes you feel bad about the bad roll. Does it understand that it needs to move away from the sphere at the end of its turn? <laughs> no. Uh, it sure it doesn't. Yet? <laughs> uh, and the save is 10. That's bad. You Eleven thunder. are doing so much damage to, to these. Uh, they are just visibly melting before you. But this one still retains some shape. Uh, Virion, it's cold where Very you cold. are standing. Uh, you did not. You did not ask for this. Um, hmm. Is it supposed to just be three damage? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is okay. Um, so at the start of a turn, you take ten points of cold damage. Uh -huh. um, moving through this is difficult terrain, uh, and that's it. Well, uh, I think. We're just going to, uh... Would it be an, an action to pick up the key off the ground? That Brooks the kicking Brooke around? Is, um, yeah. Since it's on the ground, it would just be an interaction. Okay, cool. So in that case, we're going to, uh... Bonus action, disengage. And just kind of five ten. Uh, is that? Yeah, it's close at enough? his feet. Yeah, you can grab it. Mm -hmm. you, okay. Like, you you do it the moment before the goop gets to it. Yes. Uh, so I th I think we should just get out of here. Uh, the ceiling's not looking too great, and then we're going to uh, dash. Got it. Over here. Okay. Uh, and that is my turn. Baruch. Um, that I'm is the Lithman wrong... Here. Yeah, first, oh. a little bit of coldness for you. Because mm -mm. uh, your, your feet are touching. Uh, 12 points of cold damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Definitely listening to her. Oh. <laughs> uh, so five to get out, and then what? I don't know. Sorry. That was twenty-five total. Yeah. Hmm. I think I will go a bit further ahead. It's the dead. The party leaving Tekka behind again. He did the springy thing last time. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He is fine. And Tekka, we trust. Wait, I think I have to. No. Well, now they know they need to get away before this orb pops it. <laughs> Pop. All right, let's hope I don't get hit. Um, Pip Bastu. <laughs> With one massive fist, he slams down on this side of the, the slime. <laughs> okay. Let's carve a chunk out of this block of clay. What do you want to hit? You literally cannot miss it. <laughs> For 16 points of damage. Okay, this is bludgeoning? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, big hole left. Uh, uh, wait. Does it zap back? Yeah. How would you like to do this? Oh! Oh, yeah. Uh, seeing his friend in danger, uh, the 
animalistic instincts kick in to protect the young, nurture, protect, and uh, just basically flattens this thing. Um, and as it's sort of melting down, we'll uh, want to try and grab Tech out of that if he can. Yeah, but it's scruff. <laughs> yeah. Lift him up from the shirt. Lift him up. <laughs> um, although, one thing which mm. might mess with it is that, like, doing an, an unarmed attack will zap you. Yes, that's Which fine. means it will be a constitution save. So we'll just to see if I figured. Uh, uh, you maintain your form. It will be seven zappy damage. Seven zappy? Mm hmm. Natural 20. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. And we are staying initiative. Uh, you grab Tekka. Finish your turn. Okay. Hold the world of love is plus five. Damage. <laughs> it is plus five. Um. Okay. Uh. I think. I think right now. Uh. Pip like glances up at the ceiling, sees more ooze start to fall, and is just trying to cover as much space as possible and get get Virian like <laughs> un under him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Everyone no. on board on the Pip Express. I didn't think about that. No. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Um. With uh, Pip protecting everybody else, I just need a save from Brook and Pontifex mm -hmm. of the Dexterity variety. Pontifex, you're fine. No, wait, that's not Pontifex. Brook, you're fine. Ooh. Pontifex, I lied. <laughs> I'm probably not fine. <laughs> Hoi. Uh, ah, it's, it's, it's a six, actually. Um, so, that's seven points of damage on Pip, and uh, it's fire. And okay. also fire on Pontifex, which is eight. Okay, I will, uh, absorb again. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. Mm, no, I won't. 21. No, he's just gonna take it. It's fire damage, it's fine. Okay. Am I under the understanding that uh, Pip is scaring everybody minus Brook? Because I... Or... Right now, minus he me. just went over Virian. He's okay. not holding her. Um, all right, what, what, what are we going in order? Uh, we need to stick to initiative for a few moments longer until you're out of danger. Uh, so, Tekka is being carried, yes? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, would you like to not be? Would you like to do uh, something? I think Tekka will remain as this. Okay. Mm, this is cozy. Tekka's fine with this. Pontifex? Uh, seeing the orbs are... Uh, the, the the goos are fine. Uh, Pip monster has friends. That looks fine. I have a single concern. Uh, and so Pontifex is going to turn to his left and run the opposite direction. <laughs> Come back and not you too. It can't be. And I'm I'm dashing. Uh, he's trying to find the dragon. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. Oh, investigation! You say. I know Happily. you're happy. Yeah, you're always Happily. happy. Happily. Uh, it's just uh. I rolled a four, so it's an 18. Okay. <laughs> um, I described earlier that the walls and the floors are not, like, very smooth at all. Uh, and there's multiple crevices in them. And it's... They just... You 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 almost dashed down the tunnel you came from, but then you, you slowed down and you looked around first and... Uh, it's blue light pouring out of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yep. Your blue light. 
um, high up, like 30 feet up compared to you, on the wall to your left, uh, like towards your um, seat. Uh, yeah, there's there's a glowing hole and then a little dragon snout pops out, looking at the situation. I would like to speak telepathic uh, to it. It says, as long as we share a language, does this thing speak draconic? It does not speak your draconic. Mm. Okay, well, I speak draconic words into its head that it doesn't understand, and he's, mm. like, holding his hands up as if to catch a cat jumping out of a tree, like, come here, come to, come to <laughs> Professor Pontifex, was thou lo Come on. Uh, Roll an animal handling check. In the process of casting Mage Hand next round. Uh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> but, you know, he's gonna do that, too, but if it won't yeah. jump down, I'm gonna try to swat it out, but Got it. this will work. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out the broom. <laughs> the dragon flies out of the hole uh, and just smacks into you. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you do love me! That makes one thing. <laughs> I don't even need that stupid cat. You just saved me 10 gold for companionship. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, he's going to to hold this thing misty with toga pee style, and if it fights, he's not going to like. No. <laughs> he's just holding it to his chest, and even if it hates it, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, toga pee. All right. I've only known you for like ten minutes, but if anything were to happen to you, I would kill everyone involved and then myself. <laughs> Uh, Squeak has been left behind. Please. Please. I can't die like this. I, wait, I can't die. Can I die? <laughs> um, the, the, the dragon is fully just wrapped around your arms. Uh, it, it, like, this very meticulous My arms are fully wrapped knot. around the dragon. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to tell where Pontifex ends and the dragon begins. I remember a time like that, too, when I had this really cool wand. <laughs> well, now it's made me sad. Viren, you have a giant monkey umbrella. Huh. How about that? Um, with Holding two keys and shield, is it possible to pick up Squeak, uh, Squeak's cage or no? I'm out of hands. Two keys. Shield. Shield. I think it's. You could, <laughs> just a yeah. bundle of stuff. You could, you could <laughs> scoop the cage onto your shield like, like a waiter a with a tray. <laughs> That's fine. His <laughs> arms full of stuff. Um. Yeah, Viren's just out. Uh, thanks for the cover. Uh, meet you on the other side. And she will... Arms full, just... Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> You're my she favorite! Sc scoop up the cage. And then... Let's see. I don't care what anybody else cage. says about you. You're 20, my favorite. 25, <laughs> 30. And then we're gonna dash. Wait, take me with you. <laughs> take you with me. I don't have enough. <laughs> and then we're gonna bonus action dash to... Get there. Set squeak down. Set the keys down. And okay. Yep, that is everything I can do. Uh, all right. It's it's like carrying groceries from the car, just all <laughs> yeah. in one trip. If you can't do it in one trip, it's not worth it. Yeah, Brooke. I'm running. <laughs> Run for your life. And yeah, I survived this round. Cross and the finish dash. line. Whew. <coughs> Pip Bastu. All right. Uh, Pip takes a glance back to see what's going on with the professor and then just is going to sp sprint this way, holding tech... Uh, and we'll dash. Uh, 
Uh, is this out of the slime zone? <laughs> yes, the slime zone is the slime. Nice. Uh, all right. So now we can quit initiative. We just need to see um, how Pontifex crosses. <laughs> Part of me thought, oh, I just blow a giant spell slot on create water and make it rain, but like good rain, and <laughs> that would do something, but it probably wouldn't. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think there's there's much he can try to do other than he is uh, explicitly going to be holding the dragon and like leaning over it at like to try to shield it with its own with his own body. Okay. Um, so and doing so nothing but running. Uh, how uh, many no, times I, I do be? think he's going to cast uh, heroism on himself to try to offset this a little bit. Okay. Because uh, he's so slow, this is going to take a while for him to get through. <laughs> Everyone else uh, just cheering him on. Like, come on, you got it. Run. <laughs> I'm going to die. I got to save the baby. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to put the, the orbs gone. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cast heroism on myself. Mm -hmm. So I gain three temp HP at the top of each of my turns, and then I'm just going to uh, wait before I can dash, and then I'm just going to dash okay. uh, from here. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so in a round, you'd cover, what, 40 feet? Yep. Okay, so one deck save. Okay. Fourteen fails. Oh no! Ah, you literally cannot beat a DC twenty. Yeah, I didn't think. I could. Oh. <laughs> I, I yeah, I wasn't, let it I wasn't that like 20, trying to cast blast to make my yeah. saves better. There's no chance. I'm just gonna try to reduce uh, it with here. Oh no, poopy! It's poopy damage. I think you're off easy. Look at that. Stop rolling fours. Okay, that's five points of lightning damage. Okay, so it's three of my temp, so I take two. Mm -hmm. uh, the little dragon is squeaking in the light, yeah, just with the light. <laughs> uh, it does not seem to understand uh, that the situation is dire. It's just being I'm glad you're having a great running. time. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a great day. Uh, then I get three temp HP. Mm hmm. Oops. Oh, oh no! Uh, uh, so I move 10, so I get 30. Pip will meet him there. <laughs> I get here. <laughs> just get just there. roll your damage. Oh, wait, I need to see if I lose concentration. Oh, yeah. Can Pip cover him? Yeah, in yeah. Time? Pip, yeah. I don't. I'm good. Wait. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> constitution. Okay, then yeah, I'll right, just like, I'll take the thing from Pip instead to save. Um, fails, right? fails, so it's, uh, so that's cold damage, eight. Eight. And a uh, constitution save. Absorb sailor. elements on this. Okay. Because, apparently, Armabastu can do that at will. Armabastus <laughs> have a little bit of magic in them. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like, they... I think the only spell you saw it cast was Fairy Fire? Uh-huh. I will use an inspiration on that. Concentration check. It'll be the stream inspiration. Aw. Okay, that's 12. Okay. Yoink. Uh, Pontifex, you and the dragon are protected by, by Pip. Uh, who no. then proceeds uh, to carry you out. Ah. <laughs> and you made it! Uh, be careful with your big fists, I'm holding an infant. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's how you sound like, you're just hoo hooing all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to Smack lecture you. and I'm a boss too. <laughs> uh, okay, now this was better, thank you, actually. 
Uh, I saved the baby in case anyone else was concerned about it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Mama Bustle knows. I, I mean, it, it can fly. It, it, we could have put the room the other way and it could have flown across. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have it. It was stuck in the in the crack in the ceiling or something. I mean, I'm just sort of knows. It, other way, we're fine. Everyone, I, I, well, we're all fine. I'm right? keeping him. I'm going to name you Telix. Oh. <laughs> Pip, Pip just starts smacking around the statue. Around the base of it. <laughs> I'm going to get the smack, baby smack, away smack. from the violence. <laughs> the violence. Whoa. Uh, you smack the statue until the entire thing flips over. Um, and you're back... On the ceiling, the the uh, the was originally floor, uh, facing this locked door. Loop. Uh, and you have a handful of keys. Well, I think that went well. Well, do we want to? Go straight forward, or should we potentially take a break? Since this room, at least for me, has been pretty rough. You, you look like you need a breather. Um, I think I a lot sure of this do. This was a very close call. <laughs> oh, this did not clear the room at all. Sorry, continue. Oh, Psst. a mess. Looking at the thing so far. Uh, Whatever before... might be ahead might try to hurt us even more. I think before we get too deep, since we're relatively safe but we're here now, take a minute, uh, patch yourselves up, and then keep going. I'm so confused. Didn't they want us to talk with the dragons? Isn't that why we're here? Wait, is it what? Or to their gods? Why are we being stopped so hard from talking to them? If we're supposed they... to go to them. Maybe their gods don't want to talk to us. Hmm. Though I suppose if they really didn't, if they are gods and they are aware that we're here, if they didn't want to talk to us, I'm sure we'd be pretty well smited by now. <clears throat> I think Brooke probably looks for a spot at the wall and just Sits down towards it, waiting to rest for a bit. Okay, yeah, you sit down. This chamber remains very quiet now. There's just the plink, 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 occasionally of this liquid um, flowing back downward, uh, and the little, squ uh, little squeaking and uh, running around of the dragon. Um, no. It doesn't leave Ponifex's grasp and, uh, unless he's tries to force it. <laughs> and struggling of the dragon. No. <laughs> um, how much longer do you guys want to play today? Want to? Can? I've got like 25 minutes. Mm. Yeah, I don't have more than that. Okay. Um... If any role play wants to take place now, let's let's go ahead and do it for like ten minutes or so, and then we can call it. If there's anything that you wanna discuss, did we say if we were resting or not? It, um, hmm. Brooke said he wants to, but you wanna discuss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't necessarily have a reason to say no. Uh... I think most of us are hurting pretty bad right now. Um, so I know, you know Pip was pretty I could, uh, well hurt. I could alleviate it a little bit, but if we're going to take a breather anyways, I would prefer to, you know, retain my bit of magic. I think since we're fairly safe here, I don't think... Um, I mean, unless the everything that's in this pool here decides to make more cubes and come after us, I don't think we have much to worry about right now. Oh, please don't talk about a swarm of enemies all bunched up together in one nice little 
uh, ball or you're going to make me salivate. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I you could just... I'm sure you could analogy. just fireball this whole pool right now. No, I... I could. I'm sure that's going to do nothing terrible. <laughs> right. I mean, it doesn't have to be fire. It could be like a whole myriad of things. It's unimportant. The dragon is done struggling and just gives up. And Except is now just it's yeah, limp in your arms. <laughs> oh, you remind me even more of Telex than before. <laughs> you will have so much fight in you until you don't. <laughs> and then you just go with the flow. Mostly what I want to do. Oh, hey everyone, I, I wasn't kidding. I'm naming this thing Telex and I'm keeping it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a, a thing that's keepable? I mean, everything I know about dragons is that they tend to be, oh. you know, <laughs> intelligence, not a pet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to treat it as a, a child in need of uh, the care and me, a loving parent in need of uh, something to attach myself to. The dragon yawns. <laughs> Look at it. How could I not keep it? Just, Him. Just be prepared in case there is a mother or a father. Oh, believe me, I have a bone to pick with some crystal dragons. I would love to meet one. I have questions for it. Hmm. I mean, just uh, as we've been going along, and it seems that we're going to some dangerous situations, and that's really no place for a child. <laughs> you will be safe with me. And look, he has the protection of the goat. <laughs> and he'll like hoist, <laughs> hoist the baby up in the air, Simba style, and like jiggle it so that the mm -hmm. amulet dangles from its tail. Yeah, your your holy symbol is completely just wrapped up around the tail. It looks like the dragon has been running around so much that it's it's all tangled up, full of knots. You see, you safe. Uh, and also, I I can't get it off of him, and I need this to do uh, spells to like help you. So. Uh, I can't let him go. Or you die. I need to take the whole dragon. It's the only way. I have to take the whole dragon. I'm not going to like damage my necklace. That's stupid. Uh, and for the moment, uh, he is my holy symbol. New religion born. It does seem to want us to follow it. So, I mean, at least for now, I suppose it's. It does seem to be clinging pretty hard to us. Mm -hmm. It is definitely the one doing the clinging. <laughs> Historically, yes. But uh, one of you said something about this being a dream. I'm going to admit I have been in a stupor uh, ever since we swam down the... It saw a cloud fall and I don't... A little hazy. So... Uh, do you think this is a dream? Tell me it's not. I wouldn't know much. I mean, it doesn't feel like one. Can you dream? Uh, in, a, in a sort, yeah. It's not... Uh, I don't sleep, but I do meditate, and it's often like a dream, I suppose, where it's not always... Places I've been or things I've seen, but feels real enough, mm -hmm. even though I know it's not. Well, I hope it's not. No, it probably is. Too many things don't make any sense. The sea of stars, the inversion of gravity. Uh, me finding something that uh, cares about me. This is all too fantastical. And the stars show uh, something else. Makes you feel uh, pretty small, doesn't it? Seeing them all like that. 
That's why I carry this thing. He's a bit of a reminder of how the universe works in mysterious ways. And we can try to map it out and predict it. But for the most part, uh, we can't. We can only read it. It's sort of like how you do. Uh, you, you sailor people, you read stars to know where to go. We sort of read stars to know where we are going, so to speak. Yes, uh, not, not quite so different. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like what you have before, but I think she'll just take out her own like navigators tools so as like a sextant and that it's not much use to me here. It's don't quite know what I'm looking at when I look up, but served me well so far. The way I understand it, they are used to understand such things, so you may not know now, but you can learn. Someone figured out our stars, and someone is figuring out Ladarius, so thanks to reason, someone will figure out whatever this place is, is uh, with enough time and money. I'm starting to get a feel for it. It's been hard mostly going through a sandstorm. It makes navigating a little bit harder, but I'm sure I'll at least find a few to use as markers soon enough. Uh, so, Pip, how long does this thing last? Because I I'm not going to lie, it is a bit imposing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is is Pip like like a mom chicken on her babies just curled up on broken <laughs> Brooke, are you okay? It's a massive uh, it's, it's hot a blanket. <laughs> this is a new monkey massage <laughs> to help relax your muscles and release. It looks like you're holding up the entire ape with just the strength of your calves. <laughs> which is, As I, mean, say, I understand never... what the gloves work, but uh, wow. Brooke is the only one Pip can understand right now. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Similar intelligence levels. <laughs> okay. You know, when the Brooke's blood under you, you're probably really smart, actually. <laughs> on, on that note, uh, I think we're done for today. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Pip, I can talk to you, but I can't understand you. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> he can speak to you, but he can't understand this wild flailing that you're doing. <laughs> Nobody can I understand it. I think he wants to sleep. It's ASL, Arma Boss do Sign Language. <laughs> Interpretive dance. <laughs> Alright. Get. Uh, yeah. that, that's what you get. Alright. Well, thank you very much for playing. Uh, that was. Yeah. Um, that was terrifying. <laughs> that was close? That was close. Closer than expected. I don't know what would have happened if I hadn't rolled that natural 20. <laughs> On that death save. We would have been fine. No, I, I would have died. <laughs> no, no, it was fine. I, I would have gotten you up. It's fine. No, dead. <laughs> no, nope. forever. Dead. All right, well, good job surviving. Uh, I think we're all good for the 23rd next week, yes? Yeah. I believe so. Yes. Okay. Troubles That's will my happen. last one for a while, though. Okay, yeah. Troubles will happen afterwards. <laughs> yes. Alright, very Troubles well. In May. Um, it's gonna be in May. How long is it going to take for Pontifex to come up with, like, is Talix sticking? Is that is that a name? Uh, for now, uh, until he workshops it later. That's the fastest later, but, uh, name that Pontifex has ever given to any of his animals. Yeah, it's also the shortest. Yeah. <laughs> Good name for a dragon, to be honest. It is. Yeah, I think uh, the professor is very emotional and stupid at the moment, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I think. 
I, I, he it fully intends in this moment to refer to this baby as Talix. <laughs> this is going to be so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can have multiple Orms. Why can't we have multiple Talix? <laughs> Yeah, see? True. Why, why, why do you think Talix has to be special? This Talix is special. <laughs> the other one is like an elf. This is this is a dragon. It's, it's like way cooler. All right. yeah, well, on that note, um, yeah, I'm going to call the session. Thank, thank, thank you for you the session. Very yes, much. Thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you. I'll see you, you all it. next week. I did it. I'm going to go rest <laughs> my throat now. Bye, yeah. everyone. Good job, Winter. Bye. 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 Bye.